Hey everyone, this is Eric from Delirium Dawn. Thank you all for tuning in for another video. In this video, I'll be showing you a very simple method on how to record um, amp sims and guitars in Cubase. And I'm using Cubase Pro 8.5. And let's just start. What we're gonna do is we're going into the routing and connection section right here into the outputs area and we're gonna create an output bus, a mono output bus that I'm gonna name internal. There it is and I don't want it to be connected to any output, so not connected. Next up we're gonna create two tracks, two mono tracks, And the first one I'm gonna name DI. Second one will be recording. And my setup is very simple here. I've got my guitar that is connected into the audio interface, uh, which is a Focusrite Scarlet 2i2. And uh, I'm in the left channel right now, which is also the um, channel um, or input channel that is selected by default on this track. So if I open up the DI track and if I go into the um, insert section, this is where I can uh, load up the amp sim. In this case, it'll be um, bias effects one by positive grid. And I'm gonna choose my high gain rhythm tone, on rhythm three, which is by the way, also available on tone cloud if you're using bias effects. Okay, so Input, left channel, guitar goes right in. And for the output on the DI track, I'm gonna choose the internal bus that we just created. Now, going further, I'm going into uh, the recording track here. And for the input, I'm gonna choose the same internal bus. So you see what is happening here? So I've got my guitar going into the audio interface, being processed on this track and the output, the process signal is going into the recording track. So if I record on both of these tracks, we'll have a DI and a process sound already. Now what I do normally is um, I duplicate the recording track here and I call it booster. Just uh, to have a louder guitar while recording, um, just to um, hear it better and compare it to the guitars that are being played back um, if you've already recorded guitars. And now we're going to create two more tracks. Very simple. And let's call them guitar left, guitar right. And these two I will duplicate as well. I'm gonna name this one left DI. This one right DI, I'm gonna lift this right here. And now also let's color code everything just to, you know, keep it clean. Blue. Um, the two DI tracks I will mute and the left track will be panned all the way to the left, the right one all the way to the right. So if I um, activate the monitor button here and here, I should be able to hear something. Okay. Uh, what's going to happen now is uh, I'll just uh, record um, a demo riff and we'll see how it goes. Very nice. So all I need to do now is drag these two tracks down to the left guitar section, for instance. And if I play it back, you'll hear the sound. Uh, 
And what I'll do now is just for the sake of the demo, I will record a ride track as well. and drag these two down here. And that's the way I do it. Um, the advantage is I could have also easily just uh, loaded up um, the BIOS FX plugin on each track that I'm using while recording. But if you've got uh, two or three, four or even more guitars going on at the same time, if you've got uh, effect guitars and uh, stuff, um, it'll be pretty heavy on your CPU. And this way also you can, you know, if you've got a sound that you're happy with, you can stick with it. But at the, at the same time, you still have the liberty to, um, you know, change the sound when, um, if you want to. So you have the DI track, you can change it any time. Um, you know, everybody who's familiar with recording guitars knows that if you're in the middle of the recording process, sometimes you um, a weird thing happens where you're some point you're very uncertain about the guitar sound that you chose and that will mess with you and uh, you know distract you from you know actually focusing on the playing and you know if this happens it doesn't matter anymore because uh, you can always reamp if i wanted to you know for instance um, reamp the left guitar i would just you know drag this di track to um, the di track up there and I need to deactivate the monitor button and let's just change the setting here. Let's go for 6505. And then I need to just record on the recording track here, that's for sure. And let's do this. You get the idea but i was happy with the first sound so let's keep it that way so yeah that's it it's it's a very simple method um and this is how we recorded our last album horizons um and i think it's pretty cool and i'll stick to it anyway if you like this video please give it a thumbs up leave a comment and share it and please subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any new content in the future um, check out our music on Spotify and all the major platforms and yeah, be safe wherever you are and see you soon. Bye bye.